triple green for us. And I hear this used in, in a lot of different ways, triple green, triple bottom line. So what, what it means to us is it's about the facility, it's about our operating methods, and it's about our profit. We build our restaurants to the LEED standards. Uh, this restaurant we're sitting in is certified LEED Silver. So we do a lot for the facility, and that's not just what we put in the facility. It's also, for example, how we run our construction projects and ensuring that as much waste as possible gets sold for reuse or gets recycled as opposed to going to landfill. For the way we view our operating model, when it comes to triple green. It's really about what we choose to use. So we need to use cleaning products. I could use the least expensive, most toxic, and quite frankly, the most effective cleaning products. Or I could use a more expensive green cleaning product. So whether it's a regular straw or a compostable straw, this is the way we choose to operate. We chose a building space that was designed to be energy efficient and powered on 100% wind. Our largest communal tables are from trees that had already fallen. Our water um, energy and conservation efforts have also helped to aid us in our Green Restaurant Association certification. Our faucets are motion sensored. We also use our own in-house filtration system for our bottled water. We chose to go with um, low or no VOC paint um, to cover and seal the walls because we have hundreds of guests in here for us and we want to make sure that they are breathing the freshest air possible. I wouldn't have worked for a restaurant that I didn't agree with the values for and I really like that what, what people get when they come here is like a, kind of a little bit of a consciousness raising experience. I love this conversation about farm to table and farm to fork. I, I was sort of stunned when the phrase came about because shouldn't all food come from a farm and end up on a table? While local's important to us, I'm also proud to buy all of the flour for our, for our bakery from the North Dakota mill. That mill is state-owned in North Dakota, so the profits go back for the benefit of the citizens of the state. When, when it comes to buying product for us, it's getting to know our sources. For example, I'd rather buy a local, non-certified vegetable than buy organic broccoli from China. We make our own whiskey in partnership with Copper Fox Distillery in Sperryville, Virginia, and all of the barley that goes into our whiskey which Rick Wassman, our master distiller of Copper Fox, hand malts, comes from Billy Dawson at Best Bay Feed in Virginia. Is everything we buy perfect from some little farmer on the corner? No, but a lot of what we buy is when we know the stories like this, and it's things like that that really make a difference for us. We spend a lot of time um, educating our staff um, ongoing as well as at the um, time of orientation to ensure that they are um, knowledgeable of our sustainable and green practices that we have here. They work side by side with the dishwashers to really build that team environment and make sure that the job is getting done from the front to the back. Not only is the food excellent here, but they very much try to pay attention to every, every part of where the food comes from and where it ends up going. This is probably the most dedicated handbook I've seen in a restaurant that I've been to because we, they do want to make sure that all of our employees are aware of what programs we bring to the table. And I, I can say that they, they do emphasize that to a, to a high degree as part of our basic training. So all of our food is going to be um, composted each and every day. Our cooking oil is collected by a biorecycler and then it's reused to um, and converted into high quality biodiesel. In the restaurant, we have actually contracted out in a separate company to make sure that we have our compost taken care of. And we spend probably $1,000 per store per month to make sure that that compost is sorted and picked up. So we pay for that. So it's about $50,000 a year that I could just throw all that in the landfill and save the money. But while certainly we're a for-profit business and our farmer partners that own the restaurants want profit and so do I, that's not the kind of profit that we want to generate. 